Hey guys, welcome to DDO. Just zoned into the quest, stopping the Sawagin. So we're going to summon the hireling and get started. So this is the first quest when you finish the collaborator quest in the village and you're now granted access to go out into the wilderness. As soon as you head out of the gate, this is the first quest you'll see on the left, the quest giver standing right there. You pick up the quest from him, then you drop down to the water towards your left, and you'll see the opening to the quest. So right away, uh, you're just fighting more Sahagin. Actually, um, after finishing the collaborator quest, they give you a weapon that does extra damage to the Sahagin. So I'm going to put that out here. And I'm actually going to equip that for this quest just so that way it'll do extra damage. So this actually has a monstrous Bane bonus to it. So I'm going to switch that weapon. So I pulled that lever, so I'm going to go down the right side passage. Let's take out some of these mobs. And now that it's clear to open. There's uh, valves on two sides, so I'm going to do the right side first. Just turn that valve. There's a whelp there, kill him. Watch out for the ice spray in the middle. Uh, counts as a trap and could hurt you. So just go around it. Now for the valve on the left side. First thing I'll do in here is um, close this door so the trap will stop blowing the um, ice spray out. Then you hit this gong one time. It gives you a warning. I open this, turn this valve to open that door, and then hit the gong again. Second gong breaks the ice floor. You're now able to go down. And again, there's two more valves, or two levers now. So turn the first lever. Kill that warrior there. Second lever is directly across from you. And there's another warrior guarding it, but you can just go ahead and turn that first. Now you just gotta swim under. Oh, by the way, I also equipped the uh, full plate that I looted from the collaborator quest. So my armor class is now 20. It was at uh, 18 with the starter gear, now it's at 20. There's actually a shrine back there right out of the ladder, but um, if you could detect secret doors, you'll pick it up. Or right now, if you run forward like this, and you see that text, that means the door is open by itself and two enemies will come up behind you now. So here comes the two mobs from that secret do secret room, that was where the shrine was. Uh, I don't really need the shrine so I'm not going to go back there. But if you need the shrine you could um, move back there and um, use the shrine, the door is open now. Expeditious boots, that's actually really good what I was looking for because um, these boots Okay, I'm going to go ahead and disable the um, tips for now, just because I, I don't really need it anymore. Don't show hints. There you go, it's gone. Alright, so now um, the boots that I just got gives me a 5 minute charge to speed bonus. So I'm going to put that down there, equip that, put the boot here because it's a clicky. So now if I click on that, I'm going to get a 5 minute boost to my running speed. There you go, expeditious boots. So now I'm running 25% faster than before. So red name spider. I usually just try to ju jump over the stream real quick and turn these tiles so that way um, it'll disable the sprays. See how the two crystals are not lit anymore? And then now I could beat up on the spider without worrying about the spray. Should actually use the ember weapon on that spider since he's ice, but uh, I didn't switch to it. So now he's got to work on the puzzle. Um, let's see, turn that, let's see if I get this right, there we 
we go. Uh, make sure you stand up here before you light it because it'll start spraying. Now we do the other side. And that's the end of the quest. 700 experience points. Finishing out.